الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله جزاكم الله خيرا This is the lesson 10 out of the 11 lessons um, So we're pretty much right near the end now um, And جزاك الله خير for all those people who are still with us Still with the program um, Right, let's move So we'll start off with the homework to week 9 so the first question was, what are the three ways that a verb can become future tense? So the answers were, A, if a present verb is used, but the context of the sentence is talking about the future. So if you said, tomorrow I go to the shop, it's not going to, so I go is present tense. But when you say tomorrow, the future tense, the, the, the future translation comes out. Because I'm talking about tomorrow, so I wouldn't say tomorrow I go to the shop. I will say tomorrow I will go to the shop. So when you're talking in the future, the word will sort of comes, right? So a present tense verb, when used in a sentence in which the context of the sentence is the future, then that actual present tense verb is now future tense, right? We mentioned that the present tense verb is used for present and future. So these are the sort of, um, things that make it future b if the word sofa comes before the present tense verb then it becomes future tense so sofa ta'lamun means you will all know ta'lamun means you all know sofa ta'lamun you all will know and the third way, way is if you get the scene imagine the scene of sofa and you attach it onto the present tense verb. So, ta'lamuna means you all know. Sa ta'lamun means you all will know. And usually, when the sa is joined, it's normally talking about, um, as far as I remember, if I got it the right way around, the sa, when attached by itself to the present verb, indicates near future. And so far indicates far future. Um, so far is a longer word, so longer in the future. Sa is short, so closer in the future. Yeah. So somebody asked me just to repeat. So again, the three ways you can tell um, a future tense verb is used is by using the present tense verb, right? Because the present tense verb is future tense as well. So use the present tense verb in a sentence which is talking about the future. So, so instead of saying, I go to the shop, that's fine. But if I'm talking the future, I go to the shop tomorrow. Now it's talking about the future tomorrow. So it won't be I go, it will be I will go. The second way to do it is when sofa comes in front of a present tense verb, it makes it future tense. Like sofa ta'lamuna. Ta'lamun means you all know. And sofa ta'lamun means you all will know future. And the other way is you get the scene and you drop the wow and the fa and you attach the scene to the start of the present verb. That means you all will know. Would the ending of the verb change depending on if the word starts with so far? No. So the ending will always stay the same because changing the ending of a verb could change the meaning of the verb totally. Right? So... The sa and the sofa don't have any effect on causing the verb, the actual verb to change. The verb, the verb stays as it is. It's just sa or sofa comes before it. Yeah. Complete all the tables. Right. Indicative, subjunctive, and justive for the verb alima. So it's basically saying complete all the tables. Right for marfu, mansub, and majzum for the verb alima. So again, this is just practice so that you can it can sit in your head. And this is the the trickiest table out of them all. If you're struggling, remember what we said: forget the duals and forget the feminines as well. Right, and just concentrate on the masculines because that's what comes most in the Quran. So. Alima becomes Ya'lamu. Once you figure out what vowel goes on the third letter, 
you keep that vowel the same all the way through. So, ya'lamu, ya'lamani, ya'lamuna, ta'lamu, ta'lamani, ya'lamna. Ta'lamu, ta'lamani, ta'lamuna, ta'lamina, ta'lamani, ta'lamna, a'lamu, na'lamu, na'lamu. So I just read it there. Um, again, it's just copying the sort of templates from your tables. Now we have to make this table mansub subjunctive. What do we do? It's exactly the, well, no, it's not exactly the same. All the dhamma endings become fatha. All the page endings become zabar, right? So this one here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And all the noons drop of everything else. This one, noon dropped. All these noons have dropped. That noon has dropped. Right? The only noons that don't drop are the super strong feminine. Super strong feminine words. Three plus. They keep their noon no matter what. They keep their noon all the time. No word coming before it is going to cause that noon to drop. Right. Apart from them two, apart from the plural women, all other noons drop. I'll show you again. That's the marfu one. All dhammas here, all pesh here. And the noons are all here, visible. When in Mansub land, all the noons get dropped, except the super strong feminine plurals. This one and this one keep their noons. Apart from that, all the other noons, you can see, duels, they've all gone. That's gone. And all the Dhamma endings, all the Pesh endings have a Fatha on. So there's two reasons to show you that. One reason was so that you can know Ya'lamuna is the same as Ya'lamu. It's just that some grammar's going on. Some word has come, some controller has come before the word and has caused the noon to drop. But it means the same as Ya'lamuna. Ta'lamu means the same as ta'lamuna. Na'lamu means the same as na'lama. A'lama means the same as a'lamu. Right? Meaning doesn't change, but some grammar is going on. Grammar doesn't change the me literal meaning of the word. And then you have to go into majzum jusif. So what do you do for that? Oh, that's nice. Let's do that again. Oh, that's nice, right? What happens? The fatha endings become, they get a jazam on or they get a sukoon on. Sukoon, jazam, same thing. So ya'lama becomes ya'lam, ta'lam, ta'lam, a'lam, na'lam, na'lam. Everything else stays just like it was in the mansub, where the noons are still dropped. Everything else stays the same. So the only difference between the Mansub table and the Mazum table is these Fathas disappear and become Sukun. Okay, so again, it was just a matter of learning the table. This is for people who have sort of clocked the previous classes and they want something more. Could you please back go, go back to the Mansub table? Yes. Gone back. Or you want to copy it or something. Right, that's the Mansub table. You could just take a screenshot. You just press print screen on your keyboards. Print screen. Or you can press, I think, alt and print screen. But well, print screen, do print screen. And then you can edit it afterwards. Right, good. Or if you don't have to, if that's difficult, get your camera out and go. Chick. Done. Or you can just wait for the slides. You should have the electronic copy in your booklets. And oh, I was a bit cruel, I think, doing this. Complete all the tables for the imperative, the fil amr, the command form. Do the command form for all the applicable verbs. So the first thing we notice is there's no command form for third person. Why is there no command form for third person, anybody? Why is there no command form for third person or first person? Why is there no command form? 
Why does it not exist? Anybody? Uh, good. Uh, good. Fantastic. Yeah, it's ghaib. It's not in front of you. You can't command. Yeah, you're good. Right, okay. So you can't command yourself. And you can't command, you know, somebody who can't hear you. You can only command, yeah, someone in front of you. And the same, obviously, command form is used when you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can hear you, right? So you use the same command form, but it's not commanding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's when it's to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's asking, it's making dua, but it's still called the command form. Yeah, right, right. So we're only interested in second person. How do you say to a brother, no, 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 that Allah is, you know, al-haq, for example, right? How do you say to a sister, no? How do you say to you two, you two, no? How do I say to all of you, you all, no, that's your homework to tonight is this? How do I say to the women only, you all, women, no, right? K and O W. So how do I say it? So for masculine, it's this one here. Ta'lamu is second person. Knock off the ta. What remains is, has a sukun on it, has a jazam. You put an alif there. Look at the third letter. The third letter has a dhamma, a pesh. Now stick a dhamma, pesh on the alif. If it doesn't, if it has a fatha or kasra, now stick a kasra there and that's it. So we did that formula last week, right? With this one, look at this, I'lami, I'lami. In the Quran, we're told, Wasjudi warka'i. Yeah? Wa usjudi wa irki'i, as far as I know. So, what's going on? When you stick a wow there, this is Hamzatul Wasal. When you stick a wow there, the alif doesn't get pronounced. You just say, Wa'lami, Wa'lam, right? The alif, when you join in a previous letter, then the alif sort of gets dropped. You don't pronounce it, right? That's the Jewish rule. So, was judi, Allah SWT says in the Quran, was judi, so he's commanding a woman to make sajda. Was judi, right? Warka'i, and make ruku, right? So, if I'm commanding a woman, it's going to be, second person is ta'lamina. And then you put it into majzum, ta'lami, the noon drops. From ta'lami, you knock off the ta. Stick an alif, stick a kasra on it. I'lami, I'lami, right? For um, second person is I'lama. The only thing happening there is the ending is changing. I'lama. For plural, if I say all of you, no, then it's I'lamu. Because ta'lamuna, ta'lamuna, put it into majzoom land, ta'lamu, the noon drops. From ta'lamu, you knock off the ta, stick an alif, put kasra on it. I'lamu. But for this one, i'lamna, remember, ta'lamna, right? Ta'lamna. Put it in majzoom, it's still ta'lamna. Because super strong, three women, super strong. Plural, women, noon doesn't drop. So it's still in majzoom land, it's still ta'lamna. So you knock off the ta, stick an alif, put kasra on it. I'lamna. Right? So that's all. That was a bit sort of a bit tight, maybe a bit heavy for you guys, right? But I hope you followed that and that's the way you do it. Right. Okay, make the command word. So these are all second person. Second person uh, masculine. So alima becomes ta'lamu and majzumify that ta'lam, knock off the ta. Stick an alif there. Look at the third letter. If it has a dhamma on it, stick a dhamma on it. Yeah? Pesh there, pesh there. If it has a fatha or a kasra, uh, if it has a zabar or a zair, then stick a kasra, stick a zair on here. I'lam. Next one. Ja'ala becomes taj'alu. Becomes taj'al. Becomes ij'al. Right, the the kasra on there because there's a fatha on there. Next one, qatala, our favorite word, taqtulu. Right, 
Majum taqtul. And now look, you stick an alif there, but now look, this letter has a dhamma, a pesh. So you stick a dhamma on there and it's uqtul. It won't be iqtul. Uqtul. And the last one, ghafara, becomes taghfiru, becomes taghfir, becomes ighfir. So we say, Rabbana ghfir lana. It's really Rabbana ighfir lana. Right? Or Rabbana frigh alayna. It's Rabbana ifrigh. But because you're joining it, this alif is a hamzatul wasal, right? What, hamza, what happens is, you know, on your um, uh, Uthmani script, Quran, you have a, like a little squiggle, like a sword with a little squiggle on it, right? That's saying, you don't read it, you're joining it on, right? In the Indo-Pak, you just have um, nothing. It's nothing written on there, so you just don't pronounce it when it's got nothing on it. So, Rabbana ghfir. Rabbana ghfir is Rabbana ighfir. So, our Lord, ighfir. When you join it, Rabbana ghfir. Okay, so it's there. It's just that it's slightly not noticeable like that because of the fact that you're joining it. So, it joins, you join the last letter and you drop the alif. And you read it, yeah. Ij'al, look, Ij'al. Rabbij'alni, Rabbij'al, right? Rabbi and Ij'al, when you join in it, it's Rabbij'al, you drop the alif. So when you join in it with the previous word, you drop the alif. Hamzatul wasal, Hamzatul wasal. So are uh, any alifs with kasra? So are uh, any alifs with kasra? Now, it's not, no, I think it's, it might be mostly, mostly Alif Sud Kasra, right? When they're in command form, uh, might not be pronounced, but um, there, there may be other Alifs that are not command form, not in Majum, that are pronounced, not command, but something else, right? So, um, yeah. So this is a Hamzatul Wasal. When it's a Hamzatul Wasal, you don't pronounce it when joining it to the previous one. Right, translate the following. One soups, one second. Okay. So translate. Okay, one second. So, uh, so it's the command form alif that aren't pronounced. Yes, the command form alif isn't pronounced. But what we've done so far. If you're joining it with the previous word then. Yeah. And it's all written in the Quran. So you'll know when you'll know when um you know when to pronounce it, when not to, um, because it's given the you know the, the skill is given, the sort of signs are given. But yeah, it's sometimes difficult because it's pronounced, you don't realize it's actually a command form, right? But yeah. Okay. Translate the following mansub words. So these are mansub. So again, Dajala, you make Yajala. He makes the so taj'alu and yaj'alu mean the same thing, but some grammar is causing it to some controller is coming before it, causing it to change its sign at the end. Meaning of the word is still the same. Taj'alu, you all make yaj'alu, they all make, and these are the sort of four main ones you need to remember. Da, Taj'ala and Taj'alu is second person. You do it. Yaj'ala and um, Yaj'alu, he does it. Second person is Ta. Third person is Ya. Them are the most important ones to know. So I'll put them at the start. And these as well. Aj'ala, I make. Naj'ala, we make. Them six are that's it. Everything else is if you can do it because they don't appear that much. The duels don't appear that much. Daja'ala, okay, and Yaja'ala, they don't appear that much. Daja'ali, yes, this you do need to know this for wasjudi warka'i. Yeah, well, Allah is talking to a female, I think it's Maryam Aslam. Right, so you do need to know them. The more you know, the better. But if you need to prioritize, then prioritize with those six I just showed you. Daja Ali, you make 
Taj'alna, you all make. Yaj'alna, they all make. The below word in command form will be Ghafara, taghfiru, taghfir, ighfir, ighfir. Ja'ala becomes ij'al through this mechanism. Let's put this mechanism to show you how it how it changes, but the answer is this last word here. Ij'al. Qatala becomes uqtul. Uqtul. What's important is you know how to make it. And where you got wrong, you realize where it was wrong. And, you know, feel free to ask. Nobody, hardly anybody asked me any question. There's a few questions asked on the main board. Um, so, you know, don't feel, oh, I'm going to be bugging him. I think he's going to be inundated with questions. I'm not inundated with questions. So, yeah. How is a future verb formed? Again, this is just repeating what I've said. If the, you use a present tense verb, but you use it in a future context sentence, so it becomes a future verb. The other way is when sofa is, um, it comes before the present tense verb, it becomes future tense. So will, yeah, you will all know. And the sa, when the sa attaches onto um, the present verb, it makes it future tense. So yaj'alu means, um he makes sayaj'alu means he will make translate the following kalla ne sofa right so sofa ta'lamuna you all shall know i you all will know so it's gone into future because of sofa ta'lamun by itself means you all know so far, that lamun, you shall all know. Maybe in some translations, it might say you will all know. Yakhluku, he creates. Ma yasha, what he wills. So the he is important here. Look, ya, third person. Ya, a third person. He creates what he wills. Thumma, so we did this one. Thumma, then, yajma'ukum. Right? Ila yawmil qiyamah. Missed out the kasra on the meme. Should be a kasra on the meme. Under the meme. Right? So, thumma yajma'ukum. Literally, thumma yajma'ukum, just, just like that, outside of the Quran, it means, then he gathers you. But when write ila yomil qiyama on the day of judgment to the day of judgment, then it translates as then he shall gather you um, to the day of judgment. So in this one, it's the context of the sentence. In this one, it's so far telling you it's the future. In this one, it's present tense. And then we did Alladina, that's wrong. This is he's correcting that's that shouldn't be there. This this one here, this lamb, extra lamb shouldn't be there. So I need to take that out. I thought I took it out actually. Right. I took it out of last week's vocabulary slide. I didn't take it out of this week's. Right. So Alladina, look how many times. Right? Over a thousand, inshallah. Those who, the ones who. Sorry, this is this is you guys. Okay, you guys are supposed to be telling me this, right? So next one, alladhi. Please tell me what alladhi means. Alladhi. Oh, good. Somebody already wrote it. Yes. So this is plural. This is singular. You can tell by the noon. Alladhina, those who. Alladhi, the one who. So very similar. So one is a singular and one is a plural. Alladhi, the one who. Alladhina, those who. The ones who. Next one. Hatta. Hatta. Hundred forty-two. 
142. Good. Next one, Amin. Amin. Excellent. Good. Jami'an, Jami'an, Jami'an. Together. Good. I haven't actually checked the results this week, so I don't know how well you've all done on the vocabulary and the tests. Okay. Malakun, Malakun. Malakun. Good. Good. Not death. Not death. Nope. Angel. Angel. Malakun. Malaika. Malaika is plural. Nasir. Yeah, I know. I think about Malakul Mod. I know. Right. So Nasir, Nasir. We get Ansar from here. Ansar, the helpers of the Prophet. Yeah. Nasir. Nasir. Nusra. It's all to do with help. So helper. Nasir is helper. Waladun. <clears throat> Waladun Oladun. We use Aulad in Urdu as well. Good. 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 Child, boy, children. Next one. Walidun. Walidun. Good. Father. Walidatun. So Walidatun. Remember the Tamar or Buta makes it feminine. Mother. Yawma idhin. Yawma idhin. So it's got yawm in it. Yawm. Yawm means like yawmul jumu'a. Yawmul qiyamah. It's got something to do with day. Yawma idhin on that day. Yawma idhin. Excellent. On that day. And last but not least. Abdun. Ibadun. Abidun. Abdun. Abdullah. Right. Abdullah is servant, so a servant, slave, worshipper. Good, that's half an hour gone. Lesson 10. I'm hoping lesson 10 is a bit easier. If you've done your tables last week, if you've sort of clocked last week's lesson, then inshallah this lesson should be easier. So, lesson 10. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we've done this verb, we've done this before, okay? Verbs are of two types. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Call them weak if you want. Irregular, weak verbs. And we mentioned already how you can tell a verb is weak when one of the root letters contains either an alif, a wow, or a ya. So we've done this for the past verbs, remember? The past verbs, past tense verbs. So it's the same rules. For present tense verbs. The way you can tell a present tense verb is weak is because it's coming from the same root letter. If the root letter is alif, wow, or ya, has an alif, wow, or ya inside it. Sorry, if the root word has an alif or a wow or a ya as part of its letters. So these are weak verbs, for example. And the second way we can tell a verb is weak, already done it is if the second and the third letter of the root word are the same. So, bad, lamb, lamb. You just basically join the lambs together and put a shad on it, that shad there, that W, that means double. So, dalla, dalin. That's the verb. It's weak because the second and third letters are the same. So, two ways you can tell a verb is weak. And the others are all regular. Everything else is regular. And does anybody remember what the problem was with 
a weak verb? Can anybody enlighten us, explain to us, remind us? What problem does a weak verb give us? Fantastic. Arab, non-Arab. Okay. Yes, correct. Not easy. Good. Good, fantastic, right? So it doesn't slot into the table. So same with present tense. It doesn't slot into the table. You might get the odd one that does. I'm not saying they all don't, but they generally they don't slot into the table. They'll, you're going to have a problem fitting it. You're going to say, how do you say that? Can't pronounce it. It's difficult. What's going on? Ah, it's a weak verb. So it has its own adjustment that is needed to fit in a table, and then and then you can form it. So what you're going to do, inshallah, today is do the work. So you're going to... So I want you to open your pages up on last week's lesson where you can see this table that I'm showing you now. So I think... Let me just quickly go and check to see where that is. Lesson 9. And you can look at lesson... Nine, I think it's page one or seven. Page one or seven. The the third, the last slide, right? The last slide on page one or seven. That is going to show you this table here. Like right, I'm going to take this table off. So this is the default table. The default table for present tense verbs. Now we want to put Qala into this table, right? So, yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna. So, qala, okay? Qala. We, we're going to struggle from the start on this one, right? So, it's up to you. Qala. If you know, if you've learned the present verb, then you've learned it. If you learn the present verb with qala, you'll know what to put here straight away. Qala, what goes here? Yeah, it's a weak verb. It's a weak verb. So you're not going to say, you know, yaktubu. So you're not going to say, um, yakalu. You're not going to say, yakalu, right? Normally you would, you would put yakalu in there, yakalu, right? But it's not yakalu. Okay, I'm getting two. I've got two so far. Okay. So somebody said qala. Qala is past tense. You got to stick a ya in front of it. Remember, okay. Okay. So we're seeing some. We've got the right answer there. I'm seeing some wrong answers there as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, so somebody got the right answer, I think, and I'm not sure. Right. So that's the problem. Right. Yaktubu. Yeah. Kataba yaktubu. You think over here, yaqalu, but yaqalu, just think in the Quran, have I heard of a yaqalu anywhere? No, I've not heard of yaqalu. But I have heard of a yaqulu, yaqulu. And if you learn the verb, qala yaqulu, you learn them together, qala yaqulu. And it is yaqulu, right? So you had, you struggled at the start to make the adjustment. Now you've made the adjustment. Now you've made the adjustment. All you need to do now is look at that table. That one. Bottom of page 107. Zoom it in a bit more. Or it's, it's, it's inverted anyway, right? Right. Now look at that table and you should now look at the ending and just put the ending on like it is in the table. So, yaktubu yaktubani. So, what is this going to be? Yakulu. This was yaktubu yaktubani. So, this is going to be good. So, it's going to be yakulani. Right? So, yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna. So, what's going to go here? Yaktubuna will be? Fantastic. <coughs> it's going to be? Yaquluna. And how, how, many, how many times have we seen yaquluna? Right? Yaqulu. So, once you've got the yaqulu part that you do that, it's not yaqalu. This actually is the wow coming out. Wow, you know, qala, the root letters of qala are really qaf, wow, lam. But in the past tense, it becomes an alif. You just see an alif there. 
But the wow of the root has come out now in present tense. Yaqulu, yaqulani, yaquluna. What's this next one? So look at your table. It's taktubu. So what will this one be? You have to follow, follow the same. Good. You have to follow the same pattern, but you just proceed it with a ta. So it's going to be taqulu. And then the next one was taktubani, taktubani. So what's this one going to be? Taqulu. Exactly. Taqulani. Yeah, if you haven't learned last week's table, then you're going to find there's going to be this is going to still be new for you okay but if you learn the table then it should be be easier inshallah so taqulani right now the next one what's the next one and i don't expect you to learn all these i don't expect you to learn all these i expect you to learn a few key ones because they come in the quran a lot relatively right okay Taqulna, taktubu, taktuba. Ah, we're in, we're in, we're in. Yakulu lana, we're in, we're in. Qala. So it's not going to be kataba. Yakula, taqulani. So over here it would be yaktubna. So look at the thing. Ya, beginning with a ya, ending in a na. So what do you think it's going to be? Taqulu, taqulani. Good. It's going to be Yakulna, Yakulna. Yaktubna now becomes Yakulna. Remember the endings, you can't change the endings. They have to stay the same as the table. It's just the other three letters, the root letters, even the start you can't change. The starting letter you can't change because that's part of the template. The ending letter you can't change because that's part of the template. It's just the root word. Yeah, is going to have some adjustment done to it. Because it's a weak verb. So, yaqulna. Okay, so carry on. What is this one? This line, remember this line, second person, is exactly the same as the third person, except the second person starts off with ta. The third person starts off with ya. So, all you're going to do is duplicate this line here, but start them off with ta. Why did it start with ya and not ta? That's the template. That's just Arabic. That's the template. Yeah? So it's going to be taqulu. Good. What's the next one? Taqulani. Right? Exactly the same as this one. But this one begins with a ta. That begins with a ya. This one begins with a ta, second person. This one begins with a ya, third person. Okay. Okay, so somebody's asking, sorry. Somebody's asking, why does this one start off with ya? Yeah? Again, it's, um, it's third person. So it starts off with ya. Yeah. But yeah, I know you're going to say, okay, why do these two start off with ya yeah, then? Because that's the template for feminine. The first two start off with ta in third person. The last one starts off with ya. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, if you if you struggle, then don't just forget feminine ones because there's, there's a lot of exceptions. They don't follow up a flaw. Right. So taqulu taqulani was here. Good. Taquluna. Taquluna, right? Then oh fantastic, you've already done it, right? Somebody's putting the fatas on as well. Fantastic. It must be a speed typer. Oh the fatah on as well. Taqu yeah, okay, yes. Taqulina. Taqulina. Remember, the ina is going to stay. You can't change the template. You can't change the ta at the start, and you can't change the ina at the end because that's part of the template. But what you do have to change, you know, once you've learned the adjustment, is the adjustment of the letters, the root words. Should I memorize the table this week because I couldn't do it last week? Don't memorize this table. Remember, last, remember memorize last week's table, the base table. For regular verbs. Once you learn the regular verbs, all you need to do is learn the adjustment and you know this one as well. Good. Okay. So, taqulina. Next one is taqulani. Good. Taqulani. 
And then what's this last one here? Fantastic. Oh, Shabash. Shabash. <laughs> right, yeah. You've... Someone's putting the, all the shads and the dummas and the scoon and everything on, on the Arabic. It's really good. Got an Arabic keyboard. Okay. Right, so it becomes taqulna. So again, this, this one here is ta, beginning with ta. This one here, the third person, is beginning with ya. Right, and then last one. Last one. <coughs> what is the last one? Oh, fantastic, you've already done it. I'm going slow, you guys are fast. Right, so it's aqulu, aqulu, la aktubu, aqulu, and then all you do with the next one, what is that one there? Good, naqulu, naqulu. And I put the numbers next to the ones that are important. You see this 13 here? It's maybe most likely all of them, or mostly all of them, are actually the, the masculine one. There, right? So look, just learn, just learn the words. If you can, just familiarize, familiarize yourself and learn the words that have a number against them. For this one, for this one, just do this, this, this word here. Because I couldn't search if taqulu. You, know, you have to go deeper into seeing whether taqulu is talking about second person male or third person. But the word taqulu, I could find it 13 times in the Quran. Right? Everybody happy with that? So it's the similar exercise to what we did in the past tense verbs where we had a problem uh, filling in the table for qala and kana. So we're just doing the same now for present tense verbs. Yes, what are weak verbs? The, the verbs that contain either the alif or the wow or the ya as a root, as one of the root letters. Um, and then what happens, all the last two letters are the same. And what happens is they can't go into the table easily. You have to make an adjustment. This this one, like, kataba yaktubu, you think qala yaqalu, but it's not yaqalu. It's yaqulu, a wow. Look, there's no wow there. You can't see a wow here. But the wow root letter, the real root letter is a wow. It comes out here. And that's the adjustment you have to make for that verb. And do you do you need to know them all, all the whole verb table? You know, just, just learn the ones that are in red. That'll suffice. If you know, if you've learned the last week's table well, then you should be able to rattle all this table out. Because the endings are the same, just the adjustment had to be made. Now, sometimes you might need more than one adjustment, right? Sometimes you might need more than one adjustment. So just, just learn the, the ones with the red number next to them. Right, so what do you think we're going to do next? No controllers. What do you think we're going to do next? Without looking at the book. This is the... Yes, we're going to put the controllers. So what are we doing this lesson? Somebody's asked, what are we doing this lesson? We are filling in the present tense verbs for qala and kana. And now we have done this table in the marfu mood. Now we're going to do it with mansub. And I'm not going to ask you to do it because it's just repeating everything. The same thing happens. Remember, it's present tense verb. The same thing happens. The dhammas, the peshes, can you see, are becoming fatha, becoming zabar. Oops. Same as what happened last time. Yeah, the, the dhammas are changing to fatha. And what else happens? The noons. The noons are being dropped. Yeah, the noons are being dropped. The only noons that don't drop are the super strong plural women. The noons don't change, right? The noons on them don't change. 
all the other nouns get dropped when okay somebody's asking what does a controller do a controller comes it just means it's just a word so a controller is just one of these words like that until right etc if this word comes if this one of these words comes in front of a present tense verb it knocks the nouns off at the end or it changes the dhamma to a fatha. It just changes, it causes the ending to change. The meaning doesn't change, but it causes the ending of the present verb to change. That's all. The noon drops for all the women. Well, the noon drops for the singular women, the dual women, but the plural women, the noon doesn't drop for them. They're super. Yes, it's the same rule as a regular. So it's the same. It's the same as a regular last week, what we did. It's the same control, same controllers. It's the same thing. It's just of those controllers coming from Qala, Yaqulu, it's going to be the same thing. It's just the only problem we had with Qala, difficulty we had is how do you put it into here? Oh, it's Yaqulu. Then the rest is done. Yaqulu. The controllers do the same to the endings for Qala, for all verbs, present verbs, same as what they do for the regular present verbs. Right, so it's the same, the same treatment we got last time. There's no special, there's no new rule here. It's the same rule. All the noons drop except the 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 um the three plus women. I was going to say the special women, right? So the three plus women, the noons stay. All the other noons get dropped, just like last week. It's the same as last week, exactly the same as last week. To you know, regarding the controllers and what happens to the ending. How do we do this with the irregular verb C? Okay. Is it the same way? Yeah, the endings, as far as I know, the endings, yeah, you can't change that. The endings have to all remain the same in Marfu. They have to all drop this, the same way in Mansub, and they have to change the same way in <coughs> Madzum. Yeah, there might be some exceptions. There might be some excep exceptions. We're not going to do the table for to C. We're just going to do Qala and Ghana. But we will touch on to see at the end inshallah yeah I've, i know what's happened i've missed two slides out right i missed those slides out for a reason because it's going to confuse you we we'll just stick with something nice and easy then at the end if you're still with it you i can show you those two slides right hi yeah yeah maybe yeah 118 yeah i missed two slides out on purpose they're in your booklet they've already passed in your booklet but i'll mention them later inshallah Right, so that's all. Is everybody happy with that? Is everybody happy with that? That the same, the controllers, the same controllers come and they do the same thing to the endings that happened last week. The same, it's all the same. Good. Because we've done all the easy, we've done all the easy things now in Arabic, right? This is coming on to like grammar and some, you know, maybe intermediate level is starting now. So we've got to do some these things. So take home lesson. If you see Yaquluna, it means they all say. If you see Yaqulu, it still means they all say. It's just that some grammars happened, some a controller has come before it, so the noon had to drop. That's all. Yaquluna and Yaqulu mean the same thing. Aqula and Aqulu mean the same thing. Yaqulani and Yaqula mean the same thing. It's just that one of those words came in front of it that causes the noon to drop. That's it. And you do see this one, this pattern. You do see it, you know, quite a bit. And then the Madzum controllers do this. So the Madzum controllers, okay. Don't look at don't look at this next slide if you can on your booklet, yeah. What do you think this is going to become in Madzum? Yaqula. What do you think Yaqula is going to become in Madzum? Here's another adjustment. So this was Yaqulu in Marfu, Yaqula in Mansub. Yaqul. Okay. Somebody's wrote Yaqul. Yaqul. You all write in Yaqul, right? Good. It's a wrong answer, but good. Because at least you know how it's supposed to happen in a regular table right the end fatha drops and becomes a jazam right 
what problem does that give us? In Arabic, what problem? That's a problem. We we got an issue. If this lamb becomes a jazam, a sukun, what problem have we got? Uh, somebody's answered it right now, I think. Yeah. But what problem do we have? Uh, fantastic, right? Some sisters mentioned it. Yeah, two sisters mentioned it. Yeah, three. Fantastic. It's good, right? Two scones. Remember what we said? Two scones, two jasms don't come together in Arabic. Something has to change. So this is a wow scone and a lamb scone. Yaqul, but yaqul, you know, how are you going to say it? Because if you make this, you know, yaqul, it doesn't, you can't do it, right? So something has to happen. What do you think happens? It's different. Do you get different adjustments in different cases? So over here, this happens. Yes. Okay. You, this. Look. What's happening? The wow has dropped. So there has been a sort of significant change from, oops, there's been a significant change from mansub to majzoom. The wow has dropped because you got two, you got two jazams, two sukun, they don't come together. Some adjustment has to be made. So for this verb, the adjustment that is made is the wow is has dropped. So it becomes yaqul. Look at these here, these ones here, they don't change. Right? From that little yaqul is moving about, but it doesn't change, right? The only thing that changes is the endings of the lamb. Once the endings of the lamb have changed into sukun, you can't have two sukuns, so the wow has to drop. So that is majzoom. That is majzoomified. It looks different, doesn't it, to yaqul, yaqula. So that's the sort of weakness coming out. Another weak, you know, another issue, another problem we have is in majzoom land that we have to drop the wow. So this is showing you to, so you can appreciate what's going on. So if you see yaqul, if you see yaqul, it means the same as yaqulu. It means the same as yaqulu. Yaqulu became yaqula or it became yaqul because of the controllers. It still means yaqulu. This still means aqulu. This still means naqulu. It means the same thing. We all say. I say. Yeah. Are we happy with that? So in present, in the present world, in the present tense, what happens is that in Madzum, you have to do, do a, make a further adjustment. And you don't have to learn them all, just learn. Just learn the masculine, singular plural, third person, second person, and first person, that's it. And now look. Let's just do the command form. We do the command form and have a break. Is that right? You get my annotation here, right? Where is the annotation? There. Bit of writing going on now, okay? So I want to say, look, this means to say, I want to say to somebody, I was going to say the answer. I want to say to somebody, say. I want to say to a, a male, singular, hey, say, right? Say commanding you right say this say that so let's apply what the rules that we learned last week for command form um it's on it's on the previous um lesson but i'll just inshallah say it so what do we do first we get can you please repeat joseph table okay so joseph table repeat one second turn annotation off So the Joseph table, the Mizum table, all that's happening is the lamb is getting a sukun. When you get the lamb with a sukun, a lamb with a jazam, now you've got two jazams. You've got this one and you've got this one. You've got two jazams here. Two jazams don't go together in Arabic. Something has to give way. Something has to appear or something has to delete. Some adjustment needs to be made because you can't say it. So what happens is the wow, the lamb, the lamb jazam comes, the lamb sukun comes, 
but the wow disappears. So yakul, takul, takul, akul. It was yakulu, but in Mazum it's yakul. Yeah? Right. Okay, right. So let's let's do the formula now. The formula, right? Inshallah, after this formula, we'll have a break, yeah? So I want to say to a brother, this one. I want to say to a male, singular, I want to say, hey, say, right? So what do you do? You get qala and you convert it to second person, um, present, present verb. So qala becomes taqulu. Now you need to make taqulu into majzum. So taqulu into majzum becomes taqul. Now you've got the majzum form of the present. Now you need to knock off the ta. Remember, knock off the ta. Knocked it off. Right? Then the next rule is, if what remains behind starts off with a sukun, you stick an alif. Is this starting off with a sukun? Is this starting off with a sukun? No. Somebody wrote yes. This one here. So this. So it's what remains. So look what's remained. Off with a dhamma. Right. That's remained, isn't it? So. You add a alif if that was a, that was a sukun, but because that is not a sukun, job done, it's finished. Qul is your answer. Qul huwa Allah. Yeah. Amin bilahi min shaitan rajim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun. Qul say. That's where you get it from. So again, look at this one. Let's just do this one. Um, I'm telling you all now I want you all to say The lesson was easy Right So what do I say I want to tell you all Everybody Hey everybody You all Say Right I'm commanding you all To say All of you Because as brothers and sisters Yeah Because as brothers and sisters I'm not going to say This one Because there's brothers as well So I'm going to use For mixed groups I'm going to use the masculine so let's just go back and let's do this one. So, qala becomes taquluna. Yeah, this lesson is this lesson is hard. Yeah, taqul. Yeah, it becomes taquluna. Um, second person plural. Okay, I'm just gonna just one second. Right. So taquluna means you all say. Make it majzum. Make it majzum. Taqulu is majzum. Taqulu is majzum. And then what do you do? Get the annotation. You knock off the ta. Knock off the ta like we did last week. Oops, didn't do a good job there. Knock off the ta. Okay. Now what remains next? If it starts off with a sukun, you stick an alif. Is that a sukun there? As a dhamma. So, job done. You don't add alif, job done. Qulu. So, if I say to you, Qulu, the lesson was easy, I'm saying, you all say the lesson was easy. Right? And similarly, you're going to get Quli. If I'm saying to a sister, Quli, say. Qula, you both say. Qulna. Yeah? Qulna. Uh, what do you call it? You all say, women. Yes. So this is this is tricky, right? This is tricky, but that's all it is. Is alif always added? No, the alif is all is only added if when you cross off the ta, the next letter has a sukun on it. Then you add an alif. If the next lesson, if if the next um, letter doesn't have a spoon on it, it's job done. It's just you got the answer there. It's just kulu. You don't add an alif. 
because you can't start a letter, you can't start a word with skun. So you have to put an alif there. But this one doesn't start off with a skun, it starts off with a vowel, a dhamma. So, job done. You you can say the word, ulu. So the alif is only added if, if once you've knocked off the ta, if the word starts off with skun, then you need to add an alif. Right? It's recorded, so it's time for a break. Yeah, it's time for a break. Right? Just before you go for a break, uh, let me just get my super rubber. Oh, love this rubber. Oops, rubber. This. Look at that. Fantastic. Right? This is a combination. Qul, qula, qulu, quli, qula, qulna. Just remember, qulu and qul, that's it. Qul is se, and qulu is you all say. That's it. You have to remember the formula. Just remember the outcome. Qul and qulu, that's it. Time for a break. Is it time for a break? It is time for a break. Okay, so we have a 10 minute break. Come back in 10 minutes. So about 8 8 40. Yeah, 41. Yeah. Imperative means command form. Let me just pause it. All right. Okay. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Was salatu was salamu ala Rasulillah. Right, so we have an hour left. Well, about 50 minutes left. So we've done this just before the break. And now we move on to Ghana. So what we want to do now is fill the same table with Ghana. Ghana is also a weak verb. Yeah, it's a weak verb. So what do you think? So Yaktubu was here. Yeah, Yaqulu was here. So what do you think Ghana is going to be? Yakana, Yakanu doesn't sound right, yeah? Yakanu doesn't sound right. Okay, you've got it. Because you know Yakulu and the adjustment for, for Ghana is similar. So Yakunu, anybody else with anything else? Without looking at your booklet? So normally you would think it would be Yakanu, Yakanu, right? But no, Yakunu. Yakunu, that's it. So that ya, the ya is going to stay as it is because the ya gets added. Yakulu, Yaktubu. Now you know Yakunu. What do you think the next one's going to be? Yaktubu, Yaktubani. So Yaku, Yaku. Nani. So Yakulu, Yakulani. So this one's Yakunu, Yakunani. The endings are the same. All the same. What do you think this one's going to be? Good. Yakununa. So Yaktubuna, Yakuluna, Yakununa. So this is very similar to the Kala verb. Yakununa. What about this one? This one was Takulu. What do you think this one this is going to be here? Takunu. Yeah. Takunu. And then this one here? Takunani. Again, that's it. Once you've got this, the endings are the same. Takunani. Ah, so what's this one going to be now? This one is going to be a bit tricky. Yeah, this was this was Yakulna and Yaktubna. What do you think it's going to be here? Because there's already a noon in the root word and there's a noon ending as well. So what are you going to do? Takunani, Yakunna, Yakunna. Guys, you got it all right. Yaktubna, Naskataba. Okay, you got it. You got it right. Okay, so, yakunna, yakunna. Fakala, this was yakulna, right? But because noon is part of the root word, yeah, and the noon coming ending is coming, you're gonna join them. Yakunna, yakunna, right? And then remember what I said about second person. It's exactly the same as third person masculine, except 
all these are starting with ya. So all these are going to start with ta. So what is this one here? Takunu. Good. What about this one? Let's look at that one. Or stick a ta on it. Takunani. Good. On this one. Takununa. Excellent. Uh, this one is a bit tricky, but still it follows the same pattern. This is taktubina. So this is going to be, you have to put the ina on, ending on. You have to put the ina ending on. Takunina. Takunina. Carry on. What's this one? Takunani, good. And this one is going to be, yeah, females are hard. Yes, females are hard. That's why I said, you know what? Drop the females. If you're struggling, drop the females. Takunna. So it's the same as this one, Yakunna, but it's second person. So it's going to be Takunna. Right, we're nearly home now. This one. What is this one? So this one was akulu. So this is going to be akunu. And this one is nakunu and nakunu. And that's the numbers. Roughly. So you just see in I think I didn't even look for the feminine ones. Well, that's where I put a zero there if it didn't appear. I just looked for the masculine ones because they're the ones that are most common. Right? And we do the same to this now. We put the mansubifying controllers in front. So if any of those mansubifying controllers come in front of this word in the sentence, then what's going to happen? What happens with the previous ones? We know the dhamma endings became sukun. Oh, sorry, it became fatha. So the peshes became a zubar, and all the noons got dropped. Good. Except super strong females, plural, right? Right. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> but which noons aren't getting dropped? The noons that are part of the word themselves. The noon that is part of the word, Ghana, remember, Ghana has a noon as part of it. Those noons don't drop because they're part of the word. They're part of the root word, the root letter. But, you know, the usual noons disappear. This one here, all the duals and the masculine plurals. Right? So nothing nothing new here now. Once you've got the, temp once you've got the table, nothing new going into Mansub land. Yeah, you see the noons are dropping and the Dhamma endings are becoming Fatha. The Pesh endings are becoming Zabar. And the noons are dropping. Like happens in the regular tables. Like happened with Qala as well. Yeah, happy? Okay. So now we want to mazumify it. So you don't have to, in order to mazumify it, you don't have to go into mazub first. You can just go straight from marfu to mazum straight away. Just that I'm showing you in, in steps. I'm showing you the mazub and I'm showing you the mazum. If in front of a marfu verb, a mazum controller comes, it doesn't go into mazub and then mazum. It just goes straight into mazum. Yeah. So I'm just doing this to show you in steps. So Mazum land is, okay, now you tell me, you tell me what's going to happen to that noon in Mazum. It's going to become, the noon fatha is going to become noon with what on it? Sukun, a jazm. Now you've got the same problem with Qala, same issue you had with Qala. This wow has got a jazm on it. This noon has got a jazm on it. So something has to give. Have a guess what gives. 
what happens? You drop the wow. You drop the wow. Just like in Yaqulu, you drop the wow. In Yaqunu, you drop the wow. It becomes like this. Yakunu becomes Yakun. Takunu becomes Takun. Uh, takunu becomes Takun. Oops. Oops. Takuni stays the same. Akuna becomes Akunu. This one, sorry, I keep on getting it wrong. Right? Nakunu, Nakuna becomes Nakun. And all the others, they're the same. But look, we've got some additional thing happening here. Look at this. So Yakun, it's become a zoom. You can also write it as Yaku. It can also be written as Yaku. Yeah? Aku comes in the Quran. Taku comes in the Quran. Yaku comes in the Quran. What is it? Yaku is really Yakun. And Yakun is Yakunu. Right? So, part of, again, part of taking you through this exercise is so you can see Yakun means the same as Yakunu. It's just that it's Madzum. And Yaku is short, like maybe, you know, I don't know if it's short, but it's a, you know, it's a short way of saying it. Same thing. So Yaku, Taku, Taku, Aku, Naku, it's the same. It's just shortened version of this. So Nakunu means um, we all are. And Nakun means we are. And Naku means we are as well. Right, that's a bit heavy. That's all. That's all there is. Nearly. Right, can anybody understand that? Is everybody happy? The noons have dropped. Obviously, the same. But now, look again. Yakuna, yakuna. Before it was yakuno. Okay, marfu yakuno. In mansub, it became yakuna. In majzum. The noon gets a jazm. Two jazms can't come together. So the wow drops. So yakuna becomes yakun. Takun. Takun. Akun. And after the dash is showing you how it's also written aku. It's also written taku. Yaku. And it comes in the Quran. Right? So that's information for you. You see aku in the Quran. I think walam aku bariya. Yeah? It's um, aku means I, I am. It's to be, so I am. We are, we are, right? Because it's the it's the it's the kana which means to be. Happy. Trying. Yeah, this is. Why is that a shorter version? Why is it a shorter version? It just is. It just, and it's in the Quran as well. So you get takun shortened to taku. So you can learn, you don't have to learn the whole table, but if you learn the ones with numbers on it, they come in the Quran. So again, it's the same as last week, but it's just we're doing it with two irregular verbs. Yes, does, an, does another irregular verb have a different table? Yeah, they have their own tables. It's the same table, but they have their own adjustments. You don't have to learn all the tables. I mean, why is there a Dhamma when it is mid Zoom world? Why is it a Dhamma? Because the Dhamma came from here, Marfut land. The Dhamma came from here, look, Yakunu. You're talking about this Dhamma here? I don't know which Dhamma you're talking about, actually. Where, why there's Dhamma when it's in Majum world? So, okay, yeah. So, the Dhamma at the end changes. Yes, you see, Yakunu becomes Yakuna. Right? But in this one, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Why has this Dhamma come here? Yeah, you shortened it. It's really, it's like this one, Yakun. 
But now you've shortened it, you just drop the noon. It becomes yaku. You just drop the noon. So sometimes you can drop the noon as well. Yeah, so yaku is majzum. The marfu way is to say to say it full, yaku no. Yeah, good question. See, I never even nobody nobody asked me that question before. And I'm realizing what you're saying now. This is what a dhamma on there. Why is it got a dhamma on when it's majzum? The real way, the sort of original way, you want you might want to say it, is with the jazm here. But you just drop the noon and made it yaku. But that still is majzum. Because the marfu way of saying it is yaku no. Oh, it's tricky. Other than this, then there's just more grammar. After this, there's more grammar to do. Some grammar rules are easy. You know, these, these are a bit tricky grammar rules. There's, there's easier grammar rules, you know. There's easier grammar rules, um, like min. You know, min makes the next word majroor, yeah? And there's easier grammar rules than this. But this is something that you need in order oh. for you to be able to recognize that yakunu, so yakunu means the same thing as yakununa, and also to realize, uh, to be able to understand how to make a command form. All right, so we've got that. Let's do now the command form. Oops. Right, okay. So let's do second person, a brother. I'm telling a brother, kun, I mean, I just said it. I just said it. Right, Takun. Let's do it from the start. Right, I'm saying to a brother, be, be good to your wife, be. So how do you say be? You get kana, which means to be, and you make it second person because you can only command using the second person. So takunu, right? We're on takunu now. Now you make it majzum. To make takunu majzum, it becomes takun. You follow me? Takun is majzum now. Now we get the annotation thing. And we knock off the ta. Knock off the ta. Then you look at, look at the next letter. If the next letter starts off with a sukun, you can't start off a word with sukun, so you have to put an alif. But we don't need to put an alif. Why? Because there is already, there's no sukun on there. Yeah, there's, there's a dhamma. You start, you start off a sentence with dhamma. So kun is your answer. Kun fayakun, be and it is. So kun means be. To all of you, I will say kunu, you all be here next week. Right, kunu, you all be here next week. If I said to the sisters, you all be, it's going to be kunna, because this is majzumified already. Just knock off the ta, and what remains behind has a haraka, has a, has a dhamma on it, so it's job done. Yeah, I think if you listen to it, listen to the recording once again, because many people, you know, I see the comments that people, when they heard the recording and they've heard it a second time. It sits in. So that's what the recording is there for. I'll have a listen to it once again. And this is maybe the hardest that it gets. It doesn't really get much harder than this for this course. Um, right. If it doesn't sink in, as long as you've seen it, you know, as long as you've seen what's going on, just go to lesson seven and stop there. Right. But at least you've seen what's going on. You can, you know, when you get confident, inshallah, you can come back to it and try to, you know, learn this. In a simpler lesson, this won't come. Inshallah, this is not going to come. Right. So, yeah. So when we apply that formula to all of these second person ones, you get, you get this. Kun means you say. Kuna, you both say. Kunu, you all say. Oh, sorry. B. We're on B now, yeah? Kun means B. Kuna, you two both B. Kunu, you all B. Kuni, to a sister, B. Kuna, you two B. And Kunna, 
to all of you women, you all be. So this is the imperative for Ghana. Right, so we're doing, so what we did today is what we did last week. But last week we did it with Kataba, yeah, Yaktubu, we did it with Ja'ala, Yaja'alu, Alima, Ya'lamu. We did all the tables with that. And then we did the Mansub, we did the Majzum, and we did the Fi'l Amr, the command form. All we did this week is the same exercise, but with weak verbs. And it shows you the sort of um, difficulty we have with weak verbs. You have to make an adjustment in Marfu, but then sometimes you need to make further adjustments in Majzum. So, as long as you've seen that, do I expect you to learn all all these tables for Ghana and Qala? No. But as long as you can remember, Kun means be, and Kunu means be plural. And you sort of have an idea of, I know how it came. And then obviously the more you do it, the more times you do it, the better it gets, the easier it gets. Yep. I see the people are still there, so you've not logged off and gone home. So you're still there. Um, and that's pretty much, that was pretty much it. There's just two more slides, right? And if you, you know, if you've had enough for today, you don't have to listen to the next two slides, right? What does Ghana mean? Ghana means to be. So Ghana means he was. So they all got to do with be. So I should maybe put that in somewhere, shouldn't I? Be. So kun means you all be. Sorry, kun means be. Masculine. I'm saying it to a brother. Be. Kuna, you to be. And kunu, you all be. So in past we would say he was. You know, he he be, but in the past, so he was. Right? In the present, it's to be. Yep. So this is the this is the slide that I took out from the start and put it into here. I thought maybe it's more appropriate here. So these are examples of the present tense for the word to see ra'a. So yara means he sees. Dara, you see. Ara, I see. Yara means he sees. It's a weak verb. It's a weak verb, right? So, but most of the time, I mean, I'm just going to, so I just um, circle which ones I think you're going to need to know. It's just good to know these, yeah? Yara, that one. Dara, again, just the masculine ones. And the first person ones are. And if, if they're just like, if you just want to learn a few more weak verbs without, I'm not going to do the conjugation. It's just this. Just this was just an example to show you how some weak verbs look. Ra'a. That's past. Also, I'll leave the past. Just look at the present. Yeah, just the present. Yara, he sees. Dara, second person. You see. Ara, I see. How to say a third male saw. Okay, third ra'a is here. Yeah, past. Right. So this is just an example. Just learn if you can if you can pick up these three, Yara means he sees. Dara you see. Ara, I see. This is just an example that the book gave. Some example of some um, weak verbs. And I just want to give you this. So, yeah, so this verb will have its own table. We're not going to conjugate that. We're not going to conjugate that because it's going to be another table for you to go through. It's just, we just, the book just did Qala and Kana. 
So I just do Qala and Kana. But yeah, it has its own Yara, Yarani, Yaru, you know, what's, what's it going to be? Yeah, we're not going to do it. But it has its own table. I mean, it's the same, but it's the same present tense table, but it's got its own adjustments, right? And I just wanted to show you this one. This is a hadith, the famous hadith of Jibreel. When Jibreel came to the Prophet Sallallahu and asked some questions, and he came in the form of a man and asked some questions, and he said, Qala, he said, Ma what? Al Ihsan. What is Ihsan? What is the meaning of Ihsan? Qala, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and that Ta'buda Allah, you worship Ta'buda. Why is it Ta'buda and not Ta'budu? Because of and controller, yeah, it's a mansubifier, so it's made this next word ta'buda instead of ta'budu. So that you worship Allah, right? Allah is mansub, so Allah is not the one who is worshiping, but Allah is the one who is being worshipped. And ta'bud Allah, that you worship Allah, ka like anna that you, like that you, ka. Like anna that ka you, like that you. So that you worship Allah like that you tarahu tara look tara you see him. So it's to worship Allah. So ihsan is to worship Allah as though you see him. Fa in lam, um, so for although. Not takun, you can you you can. Tarahu, you can see him. You see him. Fa inna hu so indeed he yaraka he sees you. So this is just an example of where tara and yara comes, and this is a hadith. Right, that was these two last slides were just another example of another weak verb. We don't do the conjugation and do all that for that verb. Just just was to show you another example of a weak verb. Right? Yara and tara. If you can remember them, good job. If you can't, don't worry about it. Right? Next week's class, inshallah, the first two, we're going to learn no other table, no more tables. There's not going to be another table. But we're just going to learn a one template. A few templates. The first two templates are important, right? And you, inshallah, a few things might click with that temp with those templates, right? So then, with the main things, next week's lesson. And then the other ones, if you can handle it, fine. If not, it's the last class. So, do we know how to conjugate this type of verb? Yeah. So we're not going to conjugate yara. And that's it. Twenty minutes left to go over some examples of what we learned. Some things that we can see. You can see the verbs in action. Right? So look. Yaqulu. Yaqulu. What is Yaqulu? We just done it today, yeah? Seconds. This is third person. Ya is third person. And Yaqulu is marfu. It means. What does Yaqulu mean? Look back at your notes because we just done it today. Yaqulu. He says, literally, you know, just by itself, by itself of the Quran, Yaqulu, he says. I just say it of the Quran to sort of cover myself in case, you know, I say in the Quran it's doing that one, it might be something else, right? So, outside of the Quran, Yaqulu would mean, he says, right? Al-insanu. Insan. Human. Yawma idhin. We don't yawma idhin. On that day. Right? So now look. Look how it translates. It translates as on that day. It's future, right? It's future. On that day is showing you that it's in the future. So on that day, mankind will say. It's a future tense now. 
on that day, mankind will say. So literally, you know, he says, mankind, mankind says, on that day. So on that day, mankind will say, right? Aina. Aina means where. And mafar is the place to flee. Good, yeah, he will say. Right, so can you see how that comes up? Yaqul al insanu yawma idhin ayna al mafar. You might know, fafirru ila Allah, so flee to Allah. Yeah, it's the same, coming from the same far, mafar, right? It's connected to that word. Right, okay. Wala aqulu. Wala aqulu. Aqulu means? What does aqulu mean? We just done it today. Aktubu. I say, aqulu. So, wala aqulu means? I, and I do not say. Wala aqulu. Wala aqulu, I do not say, and I do not say. Lakum, to you all, to you all. Inni, indeed, I, Malak, I'm an angel. So, wala aqulu, wala aqulu, and I do not say lakum to you all inni malak that I am an angel. So again, qala yaqulu aqulu naqulu. It's that one. What maybe you good to do is go back to your past tense and see how that one is, because that is qala qala qalu qalat qalata. It has the alif of qa. In present tense, the wow appears for the verb qala. Next one. A taquluna. Remember the a when coming before a present tense verb, it makes it into a question. And sometimes hal, you know, comes before in order to make a question. Hal comes sometimes. Is the vocabulary hard? Uh, you mean this week's vocabulary? I think this week's vocabulary are new words, uh, root words, so essential. But you only got another class left after this, yeah? All right. So, ataquluna. Taquluna means, what does taquluna mean? Look at your table. Taquluna. We know it's plural going on because of una. And we know it's second person because of the ta. You all say good. Do you all say because the art is making it into a question? Ataquluna, do you all say? Allahi. So over here, Allah is going to mean against Allah. Right? So are you all going to say against Allah? Mala, what not? Ta'lamuna. Ta, second person, you, una, all, so you, all, ilm, you all, no. So do you all say against Allah what you all do not know? What is Allah against? So sometimes prepositions, maybe most of the time Allah means on, right? But it sometimes does um, change in meaning. And if you sort of translate it in your mind with on, you know it's not going to make sense, right? But you know what it's doing. You know you're going to have a rough idea of what is going on. Someone might translate it in his mind as about, you all say about Allah, what you all do not know. You know, even though you're not writing it down and making a translation, you're going to, in your mind, know what it's roughly meaning. Right, but yeah, the harf jar have lots of can have lots of different meanings. Harf jar, the prepositions, you know, can have lots of different meanings. But yeah, if you if you 
we know Allah to mean on. Mostly it means on. But in this sentence, when you put on in, you know it's not going to make sense. So you generally, you know what it's mean. You still know what it's meaning. And that's happens with the harf jar B, for example. Sometimes it has different meanings. But if you understand it to mean with, then you can figure the rest out yourself generally. And generally you know what's going on. Okay, so let's next one. Qala. Look what's happened now. Qala. What's happened? Qala. What's qala mean? He said, good, fantastic. So we're going back to present te past tense. Qala is present tense, remember? Qala. Qala. Qalu. So qala. He said. Alam. Okay. It becomes did not because lam is a past negation, right? Akul means, look, akul, look, akul is come. What does akul mean? It, aku, akul is akulu. Akulu. Why is it become majzum? Because lam is a majzumifier. So the wow dropped. That's that's what that's showing you. That's the, sort of the whole point of me teaching you those tables to show you that akulu can sometimes be written as akul because it's majzumed by this Madzumifier. Right? So, Alam Akul. Did I not? So, Ah is a question. So, not I say. Question. Did I not say Lakum to you all? Yeah, Kum, Lakum to you all. In me. Indeed, I. A'lamu. We've not done a'lamu. The, the pattern a'lamu we've not done, but it's got alima in there, so you know it's got so much to do with knowing. Right? Oh, sorry, we, didn't, we haven't a'lamu. Yeah? Alima ya'lamu? A'lamu. Inni, indeed I, a'lamu. I know. Ghaiba. Ghaib. Ghaib is hidden. Ghaib means hidden, not here. Ghiba, you know, Ghiba means to backbite. What's going on there? Ghaib, you're backbiting somebody who is hidden, who's not there. So Ghiba is to speak somebody against somebody who is not present. He's Ghaib. He's Ghaib. He's not there. Right? So Ghaib means hidden. Right? So A'lamu. So Qala Alam Akullakum. He said, um, did I not say to you all inni indeed I a'lamu I know ghaiba the hidden as samawati wal ard the hidden I reality of the heavens and the earth yeah skies um, in, in English just write heavens but it doesn't mean jannah meaning Samawat, I'm not talking about this verse, but Samawa generally doesn't mean Jannah, it means skies. Yeah, skies. Okay, yeah. So, look at this one. Fala. The fa means so. La. Do not. La. Not. Okay, so fala, so do not. Da kul. Yeah. It's prohibiting, prohibiting. Prohibiting uses the madzum form. So when there's a la, look, la is prohibition. And the prohibition lam uses, uh, um, is a madzumifier. So it makes the next word, that next word would normally be taqulu. But lam has madzumified it to taqul. It means the same as taqulu, which means you all say so fala taqul so you all so sorry so you do not say taqul means taqulu which means you say fala taqul so you do not say so do not say lahuma to huma them both huma them both we've done that lesson two i think lesson three Uffin, right? 
Uffin, a word of disrespect. Uffin. That's talking about parents. So don't say to them both, uff. Dual, yes, dual, yes, dual. Fantastic. Lahuma, to them both, uff. So that's why I said, if you're struggling, drop the duals, but the duals will come. Like there, lahuma means them too. That's the Indo pack font. Uh, I've got some more. So, we've got 10 minutes left as well. So, قُل That means, as command form. قُل Say, now you know where it comes from, yeah? You know how قَالَ becomes يَقُولُ becomes تَقُولُ becomes تَقُل and then becomes قُل So, you know now how that word قُل comes from the, the root word. So قُل say huwa lesson two, I think lesson one, huwa he is Allah. He's Allah Ahad one. Right? So we've done three words from that. Ahad we haven't done. But it means one. Okay, look at the next one. Fa. Okay, it's translated here as, as and, so I'm just going to leave it as and, okay? And other translations may say so. Um, so they may say so, okay? Fa, a lot of the time, means so, but we're going to just keep with what the translation is because that's professionally done. So, and, kula. What's kula? It's command form. Qul is singular, Qula is dual. Yeah, look at your tables. Qul, Qula, Qulu. So Qula means you both say, right? You both say lahu to him, to him. Qawlan, this is coming from Qala as well. <coughs> connected with qala qawlan means um like speech layinan layinan i think of it as lenient layinan lenient yeah gently right so you two say to him a word, basically talk to him gently. Talking about who? It's um, Musa al-Islam and Harun al-Islam to go to speak to the worst person at that time, Fir'aun, in what way? In a gentle way. Right, next one. Wakulu, here we go. Wakulu, plurals come. Wakulu. So you see how we need this, yeah? We can't translate. Wakulu, and you all say, yeah? So it just says here and speaks to people kindly, but really it's Wakulu, and you all speak, yeah? You all speak. Linnasi, to mankind. To people, husnan, husnan, hasan, right, kindly. So you get hasin, husna, um, hasan, uh, like that, hasnat, right. Wala takunu, wala takunu, wala and do not right takunu you all gana you all be so you all do not be right to be gana is to be remember and takunu why is it not takunu it's basically takunu na you all be but the lamb 
the lamb is a mazumifier, so it yeah. dropped off the noon. The noon had to drop off, but it still means takununa. So wala takunu. So you are so and you all be. Yeah. Kalladina. The calf. Remember what the calf does? Calf means like. It's attached onto alladina. So like those. So it means so starting off from the start, wala takunu. And you all do not be kaladina like those nasu. Nasu. Nasu means right comes from to forget. And people say that insan comes from nisyan, which means to forget. So insan comes from nisyan, which means to forget. So nasu is connected to that. Nasu. Nasullaha. Right, so do not you all be like those who they forgot Allah. Yeah? Allah is not marfu, so Allah is not doing the forgetting. The forgetting is being done about Allah. So, and you all do not be like those who forgot Allah. Wakun, look, wakun. It's not just used for kun fayakun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us wa kun and be. Min from now that's got a fatah on there because um you know tajweed. That's the alif. I was talking about the alif. Um the, the hamzatul wasl. I was just talking about that one, okay? When you join. That sign comes on there. You're not reading the alif anymore. Yeah, we'll go over the vocabulary as well, inshallah. Wa kun and be min from shakirin, those who do shukr, plural. Shakirin. We will cover this next week, inshallah. What shakir? How do you get shakir? Right? We'll cover that next week, inshallah. Shukr, thankful, yeah. Fatakuna, fatakuna. Lest, okay, it's translating as lest here. Lest takuna you be. Takuna for takuna. Lest you be min from khasirin. Khasirin, those who. Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr inna al-insana la fi khusr. Yeah, losers. Yeah, losers. Lest you be to be, yeah, lest you be from the losers. All right, we've got two minutes left. That's the other font. And uh, lastly, here we go. Some more root words, because root words are the main thing. Root words are going to make your vocabulary bigger because you know the templates you'll be able to uh, translate without ever seeing that word because you knew the meaning of the root word and you knew what the template does to the root word you'll be able to translate words you've never seen before inshallah right so basura yabsuru means to see yeah basir you see basir so basura yabsuru so basura is past tense the root word yabsuru is the present tense you need to know the present tense with the past tense in order to know what vowel goes on the third letter is it yabasiru yabasaru or yabasuru so for this one it's a dhamma yabasuru what is mustard we do muster next week inshallah right jaza yajzi so jaza is where you get jazakallah khair from Jazahullah khair. Yeah. That's where you get that from. Jaza yajzi. Yeah. Weak verb. Going to give a problem putting it in the table, right? Jaza yajzi. Uh, ijaza. Is that related? Good question. I think it is related myself, but I'm not sure. Right? 
جاء yeah جاء يجيء look at what's going on with this one يجيء look how different it looks weak verb look at the present tense يجيء yeah so some adjustment made right حكم يحكم that's normal that's normal regular حكم يحكم the judge is حاكم judge حكيم well, حكيم might mean something else in Urdu but حاكم is a judge yeah حكم what's the judgment that sort of thing خلفة to be behind خلف and that's where you get the خليفة from because خليفة was one who came after Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم رزق we've done this one يرزق to provide that's where you get الرزاق from Raja'a. Raja'a is to return. Yarji'u, he returns. Rahima, yarhamu. So, Ar-Rahim, Ar-Rahman. Yeah. And when you say Rahimahullah, Yarhamuk Allah. Yeah. So that all comes from Rahima. Numbers, what are the numbers? 551, right? Ra'a, yara, that's the one we just worked on. That's the one we've seen. Ra'a, yara, to see. Alam tara, yeah? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alam tara, did you not see? Kayfa fa'ala rabbuka, how your Lord? Ala rabbuka, we ashab al-feel, dealt with the people of the elephant. So, alam tara, right? It comes. Sadaqa is... To speak the truth. Siddiq, Abu Bakr Siddiq anhu is from there. Sabara is sabar. We know the sabar. Sabara yasbiru. Right? And last one, shahida. Yashhadu. Shahida means uh, to witness, and yashhadu is. Witness and the one who's shaheed, he's a witness, right? So that's the end. Here's the here's the homework. Complete all four verb tables with the verb kana. Um, learn all the words in the vocabulary list. That's all you got to do for this week. Yippee, right? So jazakallah khair. We've gone over by two minutes. Um, do your best. Have questions? Ask. Um, and I'll see you all, inshallah, for the last lesson next week, inshallah. And then one more will be following that, the Salah class, and then done, inshallah. So if you struggle today, I understand, because it's a bit of grammar, a bit heavy grammar. Uh, go over the recording, and inshallah, things will make more sense. People say it all the time. They said, I, I was struggling. I listened to the recording, and I understand it. I get it. You need to listen to it once or twice, you know, at least. جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. If I don't answer any questions here, please ask them in the main group, yeah, in the comment or ask it on the discussion group. But on the main group because there's more people on there. جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.